Hey Saggies, I'm Rodin. Welcome to Water Baby Tarot presented by Balmy Spirit. I'm doing the check-ins and you are last but not least. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to tarot, please check out the link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, okay? Sag, you are a powerhouse right now. I love your energy. They showed me a bear and I was like, ah, <laughs> okay, Sag, I see you, I see you. Uh, you're, you, are, you are showing a lot of endurance a lot of strength and a lot of patience. Um, I think the Sagis that I'm tapped into right now, keep in mind, this could be someone in your environment or someone you know, it doesn't have to be you directly. <coughs> oh, excuse me, the way energy reads work, meditation specifically, oh God, Sag, hold on. Hmm. Uh, you're showing endurance, you're showing strength, you're showing your, your power. Um, I'm also getting patience. You're really showing your patience in a situation. Whatever it is you're doing, Sag, you're rocking it and you're amazing. I think you're showing what you're capable of. I think people are seeing what you're capable of, especially those who underestimated you. Possibly even like, you know, what's the word? I'm getting mocked. They just, I just heard mocked. Even people who might have mocked you. I also have a lot of eyes on you, Sag. I feel like you're being watched very closely. This could be people in your work environment, people you live with, people in your family environment. For some of you, it's people who, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, people who are like friends of friends or like friends of like love interests or friends of family members. It feels like it's very like, like there's a lot of people watching you unnecessarily in my opinion. I'm like, how many people got to watch one person? <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're in the public eye. I don't know. But like, how many people need to watch one person? That's a little ridiculous. But you're not letting it affect you, even if you know that intuitively. Because I feel like some of you aren't aware of how many people are, like, observing you and watching you. Um, and I feel like they're watching you just to see you fuck up. But you're not fucking up. You're not fucking up. I love it. They're just like, what's Satch going to do next? What's Satch going to do next? What's that? Like, you're not fucking up. You're just not. Um, it's not going to gonna happen. Some of you, it's almost like, like the friends or family members of a love interest, of a friend, um, are like, it's almost like a test run. That's weird. Yeah, it's almost like a test run. Like maybe even putting you a little bit through a gauntlet, like to prove that you're good enough for their friend or their son or whoever. You know what I mean? It's like external to the external to the external. Again, it feels very unnecessary, but you're not wavering. You're just rocking it. You're really powerful right now. I can feel it. It kind of feels like the Scorpio read I did. But Scorpio was just highly protected from energy and Scorpio was just being Scorpio. And Sag, you're just being you, but you're not necessarily protected. You're just doing you. You don't need, you don't really need it. I guess, <laughs> I guess that's what it is, Sag. You don't really need it because you're rocking it. But people are waiting for you to fuck up. So stupid. Don't people have other shit to do during these times? You know what I mean? All right, Sag, so let's go ahead and pull some cards for you guys. Um... I don't know what deck I want to use. No. Ugh, give me a minute, guys. Oh, man. You know, let's just go with um, Radiant Wise. Any messages for Sagittarius, please? Oh, man. I should have tissues. <clears throat> Any messages for Sagittarius, please? I saged a lot today, so that's probably why. Any messages for Sagittarius, please? Any messages for Sagittarius? One more. Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius? Yeah, I feel like, Sag, whatever this is that you're rocking, it, it's got to be work. It's got to be. I can't imagine what else it is. But again, I feel like for some of you, it's also this energy of like you're with somebody and their family doesn't like you or their family doesn't think you're good enough or your their friends don't think you're good enough. So you're having to prove yourself. Nonsense. <laughs> That's how I feel about that shit. Nonsense. Um, but yeah, most of you, I think this is a work thing. Yeah, because people are waiting for you to fuck up. Interesting. Eight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Yeah, I just, I feel like this, these are people who, um, they have a stake in something. What the hell is this? They have a stake in something. Because there's something about investment from the past, 
like emotional attachment. Yeah, okay. So these people, so for some of you, Sag, whatever it is that you're doing, especially if it's like work, work, work wise, you might have gotten really good at it. You probably have always been good at it, but maybe you've gone through a, um, a change recently that's like really showed people shit like, oh, Sag really can do this. Like Sag is really capable. Oh shit. Like Sag really knows their shit. Like it just feels like you're such a powerhouse in your energy. And maybe say you've gone through some kind of change or transmutation recently, transformation recently that allowed you to do that. Now people are like, oh, we got the Sag wrong. Maybe we didn't. Let's just keep watching. You know what I mean? It's like there's almost like a past projection being placed on you like the old you the old person you used to be like people are still holding on to that that's what it is people are still holding on to the person you used to be and trying to hold you to that but you're not that person anymore yeah interesting and if you're like dealing with someone in a romantic way and their family's giving you a hard time they just they just can't deal with change that's all it is they just can't deal with change especially if it's someone you've been with before right like, oh, this person's back. Eight of Wands, Sag energy. I like you, I like you. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air with the Ace of Swords. Ooh, Sag. So you being you and rocking your powerhouse energy, you are just, you're, you're, blasting, you're blasting off. I just, I feel a lot of success. I feel a lot of momentum. I just feel a lot of progress in your life and it feels really good it feels like you're unstoppable but you being great in who you are and great in your energy is casting some light on somebody okay it's casting some truth on someone around you and i think that's why people are watching you it's truth but they're trying to figure out like wait a minute if that's true about that person what's the real truth about sag you know what I mean? It's just making people watch and think and ponder. So if this is like someone that you've been with, right? Or like trying to be with again, it's like maybe they talk shit about you in the past, right? And like their friends and family are like, wait a minute. What you said about Sag isn't totally holding true. What is the truth about Sag? Wait a minute. What's the truth about you? You know what I mean? And it doesn't even have to be someone you're with. It could just be someone who can be like the ringleader of these people. Like that's how it feels. Whatever's going I know it's going to sound, this probably sounds so confusing. Whatever's going on with you, this greatness that's going on with you, it's really shining light and truth on the true nature of someone else. And it relates to the past, a past that you two, you two have. And it could be within a work situation. It could be an ex of yours. Maybe an ex was talk shit about you. Maybe an ex, you know, wasn't the greatest to you. And maybe they talked a lot of shit to their family about you. And now their family's like, you were lying about Sag, you know? <laughs> Whoa, that's who you really are? You know what I mean? It, it has that energy. Whatever this super strong, resilient, powerful energy you're in right now, it's casting truth on someone you knew from the past, someone you know now that you have a past with, either or, right? It's showing the truth of their true nature. And their true nature is not super pretty. Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse, that's somebody who is, I'm actually hearing self-righteous. I'm actually hearing the word self-righteous. Self-righteous, they care about image. They'll do what they can to keep their image, even if it means to lie, even if it means to lie. They only care really about materialistic things, their comfort, yeah, their comfort and their image, and they'll throw anybody under the bus to keep that image. That person from your past or someone you currently know that fits that description and you have a history with, the people around them who know you so complicated, are now seeing their true colors because of the greatness you're in right now. Lord, this is not going to be for everybody. Uh, let's keep going. So complicated. Any other messages for Sag? It'll resonate whoever it needs to resonate for. Like, as readers, when we get crazy messages like this, it's just like, eh, just trust it. Whoever needs it's going to hear it. Any mess? Hi, kitty cat. Can you find a spot? Hold on, sorry guys. Don't knock over the camera. Okay. Any other messages for Sagittarius, please? <clears throat> Ooh, hoo hoo. Death in reverse. Yeah, it's true that was a way of coming to light. That's how I feel about this. I feel a resurrection of truth, a resurrection of the past, but really just to shed truth on it. Any other messages for Sagittarius, please? 
overall energy, we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is more about this person than you, which is kind of funny. But you're in a good place. I can feel it. Powerhouse. Total powerhouse. Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Underneath that, we've got the Four of Swords in reverse, Libra. With the Ten of Cups, oh shit, Pisces energy. Whoa, Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricornic energy. This person's not doing so hot, okay? It almost, they kind of feel like the people around them don't trust them anymore. <clears throat> they don't have their attention. <clears throat> that's what it is they don't have their attention and they're not really sure how to handle it they're not really sure what to do about it they feel kind of stuck they also feel exposed like like now everybody is watching you or observing you and kind of trying to figure out what the reality is about you now that you are stepped into your power and you're just like super strong <laughs> excuse me super strong killing it at whatever it is you're killing it at People are, can't stop watching you and they're kind of in awe of you because they have this image in their head that this person put there, okay? <laughs> Male or female doesn't matter. It could be a boss, could be a family member, could be an ex, again, decide. But it's like, that's why they're like, they're like, they can't figure this shit out. So they're watching you because like their image of you is being shattered, the image of this person placed there. And now they're looking at this person like, well, who the hell are you? What else were you not being honest about? But they're also watching you, Sag, because they don't really have, they don't know what the truth is about you. So they're also like waiting for you to revert back to the person they saw you as, the person they told, that this person told them you were. That's why they're also waiting for you to fuck up, like waiting for you to kind of like re-solidify the image they had of you that this person planted in their head in the first place. Jesus. But yeah, people don't trust this person now. Wow. I'm surprised the justice card isn't out here, Sag. <clears throat> Sorry, Sag, give me a second. But let's dive into this. I'm really curious about this Eight of Wands energy. <clears throat> I just heard the word redemption. Ooh, I made my belly hot. Okay, let's look at the Eight of Wands. Um, I'm going to do, which is tarot for this one. <clears throat> oh, not to mention, I can't believe I didn't see this. You got three eights, eight, eight, eight. Very auspicious. Don't they consider that to be a blessing? Eight numerologically is my CEO vibration. It's manifestation, it's success, it's abundance. It's also leadership, very much the energy you're in. You're in that bear energy, that like super strong, um, of like a vastness to your will and endurance. Like you can handle anything. <laughs> like who fucks with a bear? Yeah, besides another bear. But yeah, who fucks with a bear? Do I have eight of wands? Do I have eight of wands for Sag? Do I have eight of wands for Sagittarius? Do I have eight of wands for Sagittarius? Wow, Ace of Swords in the verse and the Three of Cups. People are talking shit about this person. Wow, they're talking about the illusion, about like how the things they said about you weren't true. They're realizing that. They're watching you in this path. I feel like this is just you. I feel like you're almost just like pure Eight of Wands energy, like unstoppable progression, like in just pure strength. Like you just, you're not gonna get in the way of Sag right now. And again, people are watching you, they have their eyes on you, and now they're talking about this King of Pentacles and talking about how what they said wasn't true. They're seeing more of who you are, but again, I can still feel it. Like they're also just watching this to, to have some kind of like solidified image of you in their head. So until like, you know, until that happens, they're also just gonna wait for you to fuck up and they're just seeing the truth about this person. I'm amazed. Oh my god. I almost never get readings like this. Time about Eight of Wands. So I'm the Eight of Wands for Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands for Sagittarius. Oh, oh, oh. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Uh, yeah, these people are like so done listening to this person. They look at this person like they're not honest. They look at this person as really who they are. 
they, yeah, they see this person for who they are. Someone who really only cares about themselves and their own image and will do. You okay, buddy? And will do anything to keep that image that they're not a team player. Wow. So I'm about the Eight of Wands. There's something about you, Sag, that threatened this person's image. And again, a lot of you, this is workplace. Some of you, it's an ex or like a friend. So I'm about the Eight of Wands for Sag. But you're just keep doing you, Sag, because you're killing it. Yeah, yeah. Attention, Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy. People are watching you. This is you. Just totally unstoppable, doing your thing. Being that badass bear and six of wands is an energy of, like I said, attention, like looking at someone, looking up to someone. Yeah, Sag, I love it. I so freaking love it. They're just seeing you in your glory and they're like looking to this king like, hmm? didn't you say this about Sag? Wait, what was the thing you said about Sag like six months ago, a year ago? Wait, why would you say that? Clearly that's not true. <laughs> Right? So now, because of they're in awe of the situation, now they just can't stop watching you. Wow. Hold on. Clyde. I know. I love you too, but you're not sitting still. Do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations, Sag. Redemption. I think that's what I'm going to title this. I don't know if we'll need to clarify anything else. It's like so clear cut. So clear. Where are we at? Yeah, 16 minutes. So Sag, congratulations. I mean, like, and I don't wish anybody ill, you know, it, it kind of is unfortunate for this person, but it's a learning lesson for them. It's gonna help them grow. And if anything, like, you know, truth always has a way of coming to light. Always, always. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, sorry, Sag, uh, Clyde decided to slide across the table. Um, there he is. <laughs> Look what he did. <laughs> oh, my cards are everywhere. So sad. Yeah, I'm just going to, I think that's a sign. I'm just going to end it here. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys got a lot out of it. I hope it was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out the meal Patreon. Everything else you need is linked below for your convenience. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night, Sagis. Namaste.